Thank you for visiting AquaLeaks.com. We're here today to answer a simple question. Does my pool lose water due to a leak or due to evaporation? There's a very simple test we can do to answer that question. It's called the bucket test. All you need is a five gallon bucket, tape, and a pencil. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bucket set up. You wanna put a strip of tape on the outside of the bucket and a strip of tape on the inside of the bucket. You're all set to start your test. Now that your bucket is prepped with tape on the outside of the bucket and tape on the inside of the bucket, you can go ahead and fill your bucket up with the pool water. You want to get the bucket filled up so it's about an inch or so from the top of the bucket touching the tape. Once you get it filled up, go ahead and put it on the top step. Let the water settle down for a minute. Once the water settles down, you're going to take your pencil, you're going to scribe a line on the outside of the tape where the water line meets the tape, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to mark the inside of the bucket where the water touches the tape. Go get, it, get that marked. You're going to do this with the pool off, and you're going to come back in 24 hours. You're going to take your pencil, and if the water's dropped down the bucket, you're going to make a new line, mark that, Go ahead and do the same thing on the inside of the bucket, okay? Now you have two distinct lines on each pieces of tape, on the outside of the bucket and on the inside of the bucket. You go ahead and you can take that tape, use a tape measure or a ruler, and measure the distance between the lines that you marked. If the distance, in, if the distance uh, matches each other on the inside and outside of the bucket, say a quarter of an inch, then you know it's due to evaporation. If the inside of the bucket is showing a quarter of an inch loss and the outside of the bucket was showing an inch of loss, you now know that your pool is losing water due to a leak and not evaporation. Additionally, there's a few things that could skew your test results. First one being rain. If it rains during the testing period, just repeat the process the following day. Second thing that could affect your testing is if the bucket has a hole or a crack in it. Make sure before you start your testing that the bucket is free of any cracks or holes. The third thing that could affect your testing is pets. Keep pets away from the bucket so they can't drink from it. That would skew the results of the testing. Hopefully this video was helpful in determining whether your pool is losing water due to evaporation or to a leak. If your pool is losing water due to a leak after the test results, please contact us and we can schedule a time to come out and take a look at the pool and find the leak. Again, thank you for checking out aqualeaks.com, and we hope this video was helpful to you.